I come from a really broken home and joined the army to get away. It's the brotherhood and it gives you the drive and the motivation and gives you a bit of ambition too. So I called up in 1942 when I was 18. I was in the 63 was airborne division. I was on my full bombardiers course and unfortunately I sustained an injury to my back. One day you're the strong soldier that's got everything going for you, you get promoted and then unfortunately the next day I woke up, I lost my job, I was losing my house. I felt like I didn't have anybody to turn to. We don't fly like you people, thousands of feet, three hundred feet, there's only two of you, but you can work with a parachute on. That's on the floor. One force me in the air. You're going to make it more dangerous. Because there's no shoe on. You've got 19 men lost. That's the first day we went. It's the air crew, the, the planes, all got lost at that time. I decided to go self-employed and start a carpet cleaning business. ABF to Soldier Charity gave me a lifeline. Um, you know, they were there when I felt nobody else was. And they basically gave me some funds to be able to go and buy the equipment. They also funded some um, courses that allowed me to get the knowledge and to be able to go and do my business. We believe that he was the last air dispatcher that survives from the Battle of Arnhem. Sid was only in the army for five years, although of course it was a very important time. And it's amazing that so many years after Sid was in the army that the ABF Soldiers Charity are still fantastic in the fact that they support Sid to stay in the residential home that he's in. Um, we wouldn't be able to manage if it hadn't been for them to help towards the cost of them being here. We're very grateful. Throughout my life, if you tell me I can't do anything, I go do it. And then my wife told me I couldn't set up my own business and she didn't think it was a good idea. Three years on, we're now employing 28 members of staff, doing about 3,000 worth of cleaning hours. Um, so yeah, I'm just seeing what she tells me not to do next. 